Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens. In this episode, I'm doing an unboxing of North Africa 41, the Western Desert, March to December 1941. It's designed by Mark Simonich. Uh, it's from GMT Games. This is another, uh, the newest in his line of uh, Zone of Control games. Uh, a lot. There's a lot of different ones in this. Um, uh, this this one is the thinner box with the paper maps. There was a there's a mounted map add-on that you can get, uh, and I suggest if you want it, you jump on it quickly because those are always in limited supply and sell out very quickly. As people definitely want to improve their game with mounted maps. So anyway, this is for two players. It's uh, medium complexity and medium solitaire suitability. It's pretty much uh, you have to true solo it playing both sides. So anyway, let's dig in, see what you actually get in this box. All right, here we go. I love that artwork. That's really cool. That's a really cool drawing. Illustration by Antonis Caridis, and that is beautiful. Those tanks storming across the desert. You got a got a small prop plane flying behind them. German. That is just that's really beautiful. That is just really nice. Sorry. Okay. So here we go. You start out with the <clears throat> start with the North Africa 41 rules of play, and it is a 28-page rule book on GMT's excellent matte finish paper. And full color, pretty decent size print. It's not definitely not small, more of a medium, medium size, maybe about a 12 point, 14 point font. So that color examples of everything you're gonna need. Yeah, kind of dense, not a lot of white space, but uh, like I said, it's still pretty, pretty, pretty large font. So let's see, the rules go to, the rules go 24 pages, the optional rules are only one page. And then we've got our scenarios, of which there are scenarios. Scenario one, Interamal. Scenario two, the campaign game. Scenario three, Crusader. And that's it. And then we got some credits, we got abbreviation, hence on play, uh, convoy example. And then you do have a nice index on the back, the rules. Then we have our playbook. And in this case, these scenarios are in here. So with this game, the playbook is uh, extra notes, an extended example of play goes about six pages, design notes, order of battle, historical notes, bibliography, reading the tanks in North Africa, DAK, infantry organization, and the sequence of play is on the back. This is a 20 page book. Again, the same good card stock and just some extra information along with that. Uh, it looks like it covers a couple of impulses of a couple of turns. So we got that there. And then we've got our combat results table. There's two copies of that. One for each player. And it's the double width. And you got all your different tables that you're gonna need. Your CRT and then different uh, results, descriptions, and then all the other tables that you're gonna need for playing the game. And your terrain effects chart. And then we have a reference card for access and allies setup. This is the allied setup and reinforcements for the Crusader scenario that we saw. And this is where they are at start, and which ones deploy later turns. I think this is for Crusader. I'm going to assume this is for the, for, uh, the first two scenarios. And then we've got one here for the Axis also. This is the Crusader setup. And this one's for, I assume again, the regular at start. And the Tripoli box, and then turn one two, through turn 13. All right, and now we've got our counter sheets, we've got two, and these are larger counters, probably about five-eighths, 
They're bigger, a little bigger than one half. They are, you will have to cut them from the sprue and they're not pre-rounded, so you will, well, so most of them are not. Uh, you will need to round them with an Oriental Laminations 2.5 millimeter corner rounder, the correct tool for the job. But it's very, count, it doesn't appear to be very counter dense, this game. So. So that's the first counter, and then this first sheet, and this is mostly counters and units. This has got a few, but mostly is markers. You see a couple Germans here. Disrupted, out of supply, port status markers. And then over here, so it's like half, one and a half sheets of real counters, and then we've got these allied marker, axis and allied marker displays. And you've got some delay markers, available assets, those little discs. You just plop down. So this is the UK versus the uh, versus Italy and Germany. Got an air superiority marker that's pre-rounded, and then we got some shipping and rail and victory point control markers. Which are double-sided as well for control. And some of these also got disrupted in full retreat, fortification, no combat, etc. All right, then we've got a, here's our map, or here's part of our map. So we've got two map sheets that are gonna go together. And then in the bottom, we've just got two dice, large size GMT, right about 12 millimeter dice with the rounded corners. There you go, red wins, five to two. All right, so we'll dig in here. Oh, they're both full maps. So there's the top top part of the map. It runs portrait uh, landscape on your table. It's gonna be kind of hard to show here. But you got some tables on here. There's the anti-shipping table, access supply attrition table, and then obviously your turn track, sequence of play, player turn information. Got your map key, campaign game victory point tracks, allied remnant display. Some reserves. Actually, you know what? Yeah, this is going across the top, and I believe we'll see how this one goes. The connecting part is over here on the left side of this map, which means take a look at the textures here. You got your ports, Tobruk, Bardia, Mersumatra, Alexandria over here on the right, and then you've got your roads delineated all the top of Egypt. So let's see, this may be a long, long game. So this map, the map is eight panels of paper, so that makes it uh, uh, 34 by 22. And then this left side, and it is the left side, so it joins here. Uh, which means your map is actually going to be 68 by 22. So you're going to need a beast of a table to play this. I assume you could possibly set them side by side and just remember to magically move things from this onto the other map. Ooh, what a beast. These aren't normally monsters, but that kind of qualifies it right there, I think. So Port of Benghazi, the Malta status track, Resource points at the curve there at the top of Africa. Libya. Now there's Tobruk again. But this does not have. Well, that was interesting. We had Tobruk on the other map. So we did. We have we have Tobruk here and Tobruk here, so they kind of overlap a little. Right, so you're kind of going to get a little bit of overlap, and actually they did number them that way. So maybe the scenarios don't require both maps, but only one has the turn track on it. So maybe the ones for the campaign game. Otherwise, you just play on the single-sided map or the single page map. But that'll be in the scenarios. But they do overlap, as you see there. In fact, the graphics actually overlap, so you could probably just secure them. So. But it only overlaps about half a page. So instead of 68, 
wide, you're gonna be about uh, 60, 60 wide or so. So still kind of a, still kind of a beast. That's a, that's well over five feet. So hopefully your table is big enough. So anyway, if you pick up a copy of North Africa 41, The Western Desert, March to December 1941 by Mark Simonich and GMT Games, you're gonna get those two dice. And red wins again, five to four. You're gonna get the two halves of the map that go side to side lengthwise for a very large map. You're gonna get one and a half sheets of unit, roughly one and a half sheets of unit counters, about five eighths inch counters. Um, and then a few other accessory markers. You're gonna get your access and ally setup and reinforcements charts, single sided coded cardstock. You're gonna get two copies of the double width combat results table, as well as you know general play rate, terrain effects, and all of your charts. You're gonna get the 20 page playbook with extra design notes and example of play, and the 28 page North Africa 41 rules of playbook with the three scenarios and let's just check real quick yeah it looks like all both maps get used for both games or all three scenarios so and that is everything that comes in north africa 41 from gmt games thank you so much for watching god bless you bye bye oh.